Have you heard about the one time Jo Bo Ah nearly gave up her life for a drama she was filming? From a military prosecutor seeking vengeance to a student whose crush for a teacher turns into obsession, Jo Bo Ah has played the most versatile roles across some of the best movies and TV shows. Today, we are going to let you in on the X things you didn't know about her. Spoiler alert, her name is not Jo Bo Ah. That is just her stage name. Her real name is Jo Bo Yoon, a name that has a very significant meaning. The name was given to me by my grandfather. Bo means beautiful, and Yoon means abundant. He wished for me to make the world more beautiful and give abundance to others. Bo Ah revealed this in an interview once. Her work is a smorgasbord of hit titles, exploring a range of genres, from hair-raising action thrillers and magical fantasy romances to heart-wrenching melodrama. Her grandfather will be proud that she has already provided beautiful and abundant memories to viewers with her incredible performances. Charismatic, caring, fiercely loyal, confident, and warm. You still don't know where I am going with this. She is a Leo just like her fellow Destined With You co-star, Ro Woon. She was born on August 22, 1991, which makes her a certified Leo. This explains why she is so comfortable in front of the camera. Many K-drama fans have enjoyed the romantic comedy series, A Business Proposal, which became the most buzzworthy drama for weeks. Idol actress Kim Sejong perfectly portrayed Shin Ha Ri and Shin Gyum Hee's roles. However, did you know that Jo Bo Ah was supposed to be the lead actress for the drama? Back in March 2021, it was reported by Korean media that Jo Bo Ah had been cast for the lead and was considering the offer. Fans of the original webtoon found her to be a perfect match for the role of Shin Ha Ri, thanks to her looks. She was later confirmed for a role in military prosecutor Doberman months later. There was speculation that she had wanted the opportunity to change her image to develop as an actress. Her roles mostly revolved around the same type of image as the pretty popular girl. Military prosecutor Doberman gave her the opportunity to transform into a cold and bright prosecutor with incredible fighting skills. She chopped her long locks off and donned a military uniform instead of the pretty outfits she usually wore on dramas. She made a successful transformation and proved her versatility as an actress. Jo Bo Ah once played the role of a flight attendant in the 2016 KBS drama Sweet Stranger and Me, but not many people knew she previously majored in flight operation at Hanseo University, one of Korea's most prestigious aviation schools. She used to be a flight attendant for Asiana Airlines, and she looked just as gorgeous as she does now. In 2011, Jo Bo Ah participated in the Asiana Airlines Cabin Crew Experience class, a class that gives flight operation students a period to experience living like a flight attendant, as well as learning about how to present oneself as a flight attendant. She was supposedly one of the top students at the school, where the professors highly commended her and even claimed that she would be able to pass the course without failing. In 2012, Jo Bo Ah dropped out of Hanseo University to pursue an acting career after she was accepted into Sung Kyung Kwan University's acting for theater, film, and TV major. She made her debut in the daily sitcom I Live in Chong Dum Dong in 2011. Her acting career has spanned over 10 years, during which she has received numerous awards for her performances. In 2015, she won the Best New Actress Award and the Popularity Award for her role in the drama All About My Mom. She also earned the Best New Actress Award for her portrayal of a bratty and spoiled rich girl in Monster. In Goodbye to Goodbye, she won two Excellence Awards and another Best New Actress Award. Recently, she took on her first ever doctor role in Forest and received the Netizen Award, as well as the Best Couple Award with her co-star, Park Hyajin. Her talents have also been recognized on variety shows where she won the Best Challenge Award for her appearance on Law of the Jungle and the Excellence Award in the variety category for her appearance on Beck Jong Hwan's Alley Restaurant. Many fans are super curious about Jo Bo Ah's dating life because she's so famous. She's actually done a pretty good job of keeping it private, but there have been a couple of relationships that made headlines. Back in 2017, she was dating actor Own Ju Wan. They actually met while working together on the TV show Surplus Princess. According to the official statements, their friendship on set naturally turned into something more romantic. They were together for about a year before deciding to go their separate ways because they were both crazy busy. But don't worry, they ended things on good terms and stayed friends. As of 2023, 
Jobo Ah hasn't confirmed if she's dating anyone right now. She's been saying in interviews that she's really focused on her career and doesn't have much time for dating. But you know how fans are. They just can't help but speculate. There have been rumors going around that she's dating her co-star Lee Dong Wook from their recent drama, Tale of the Nine Tailed. But both Jobo Ah and Lee Dong Wook have denied those rumors. So, for now, it looks like she's just doing her thing and keeping her love life under wraps. Jobo Ah's dedication and commitment to her work were truly remarkable. Despite being diagnosed with encephalomeningitis, a serious condition that required immediate medical attention and rest, she made the brave decision to return to the set of her drama monster. Her choice to continue filming while battling such a debilitating illness showcased her professionalism and passion for her craft. Jobo Ah understood the importance of fulfilling her commitments and not letting down her fellow cast members, crew, and fans who were eagerly awaiting the drama's release. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that Jobo Ah's decision may have come with risks. Encephalomeningitis is a severe condition that affects the brain and spinal cord, often causing symptoms like fever, headache, neck stiffness, and confusion. By choosing to prioritize work over her health, she potentially put herself at further risk of complications or delayed recovery. It is worth noting that this incident sheds light on the immense pressure faced by actors in the entertainment industry. Jo Bo Ah opened up about her inability to hide her emotions while filming Baek Jong Won's Alley Restaurant. The show, which follows renowned chef Baek as he revives struggling restaurants, not only showcased his culinary expertise, but also captured the raw emotions of the participants. In a candid interview, Jobo Ah expressed how her facial expressions unintentionally revealed her true emotions throughout the show. She admitted that she found it challenging to conceal her genuine reactions, especially when faced with heartwarming or heartbreaking stories from the restaurant owners. As an actress deeply invested in her craft, Jo Bo Ah believes in immersing herself fully into every role she takes on. This commitment to authenticity often translates into her inability to mask her emotions effectively. She explained that she becomes so engrossed in the moment that it becomes nearly impossible for her to suppress what she truly feels. Jo Bo Ah surprised the avid fans of Tale of the Nine Tailed after she made a special cameo appearance in the finale of its second season. The work is a direct sequel to the hit drama of the same name in 2020, which Bo Ah starred in. What's even more surprising is that she did the cameo without receiving any payment. Speculations began to arise, with some suggesting that it was a gesture of support for the production team or perhaps a personal favor to someone involved in the project. She finally broke her silence during an interview. With her trademark smile, she revealed that her decision to cameo in Tale of the Nine-Tailed 1938 was driven purely by her passion for acting and her admiration for the drama's director and cast. From the true meaning of her name to her near brush with death, those are things you missed about Jo Bo Ah. So the next time you and your friends discuss Korean celebrities and her name comes up, make sure to shine.